What's up guys, Tucker Singer here, we're back in the shop. Today let's talk wrench projects. Alright guys, I know for the intro, I uh, usually don't have the forge on yet, but it's pretty cold here in the shop today. So, I have that already, I'm just trying to get a little warmer in here. But uh, anyway, back to the thing. I went to the tractor supply now. This could technically count as one of the store blacksmith challenges, but I'm not going to do it because this would be kind of its own mini series over time. Uh, I went to tractor supply the other day because uh, I saw something through a Facebook ad. It was a little novelty. It was a, a bracelet, like the bangle style, like I made that copper bracelet. I'll have a card up here. But uh, they took, it was a, a rent shaped piece of metal, you know, just like a wrench. It wasn't any specific size, so I mean, it, it wrap around your wrist and it'd look cool, but I thought, uh, why wouldn't we take one that has the actual sizes in it, you know, cheap, because I picked up a whole little set of wrenches for, what was it, uh, $2.19 on clearance from Tractor Supply the other day, so that's cool. Nice cheap set we can destroy and not feel about, or feel bad about, but anyway. Uh, we're going to take this uh, 10 millimeter wrench, all right, because you know 10 millimeter sockets always go missing, and you know it's a funny joke that way. And possibly you could still use it. You slide it off. The slots would be pretty much the same size, except this. And here we're going to take the bottom jaw of this, and we're just going to take a hot cut chisel and just nip off a little bit, so it'll be a bottle opener as well. But we will not adjust this side at all so you can be able to put it over and, and test it out. Anyway, so what our plan is, this is a little short to fully become a bracelet. So what we're going to do is right between where it says the 10 for 10 millimeter, we're going to take the cross beam and we're going to draw that out to get a couple more inches of length so that way it's long enough to uh, go over our wrist. And then once we get that part done, before we wrap it around to go to the round the wrist, we're going to take the hot cut uh, and add an angle right here on this little bottom piece. Uh, we're going to just nip it off with a chisel so that way it'll be a bottle opener. Alright, so uh, you're sick of me talking by now. Let's throw it in the forge and get started. So let's get started on drawing this out a bit here. We're just going to take the cross bean and work on forging out this middle a bit here. sucking the heat right out of this thing so uh, as you see we're just going to work on drawing out this middle bit here uh, I would like to keep the tens intact but if not I have uh, a stamp set I can put a new tent on it all right next thing moving to the horn here so it's a little bit easier to fit everything on the anvil and just get back to drawing this out a bit Get her warmed up. Go ahead, uh, grab the 
lock cut chisel and then just go ahead like we talked about and nip off this bottom jaw a little bit so it can be a bottom opener and then we'll work on wrapping it up alrighty go now like we said before we're just going to go ahead and uh, nip this off at a little bit of an angle there you know, just that way we have enough for a bottom opener we'll try not to take away the look of the wrench bench grinder real quick, uh, clean that up, flatten it off, and then we're going to go ahead and start backing her up. Alright, uh, cleaned her up over at the bench grinder real quick, now we're going to throw her in and get working on forming it so that way it'll fit on her wrist. So the way we're going to form this over the horn is uh, wrenches already have the, uh, a slight kink here this back end so what we're going to do is we're just going to go with that so that way it's already started and then just work on forming it around the anvil here we go just start forging it around there a little bit I just want a nice transition. It's kinking right there because it goes to the thickness of the head of the wrench, but just gotta fiddle with it. It's cooling down real quick. That's what we're looking for. Now we can get started on the rest of it. The ends will be the hardest part to bend because they got the thickest portion and it's going to want to bend where it's a little thinner. the first one I'm doing of this so uh, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take another wrench and just use it as like little baby uh, scrolling forks and just kind of open that up a little bit just to make it the right size all bent up we got our bottle opener there and the last bit of the wrench there um, so I tried to keep from uh, deforming that circle too much to see if we can get it to actually sip onto a nut after everything's uh, done now uh, next thing we're going to do here is just going to go ahead and stamp the 10 onto it what I'm going to do is just slide it over the horn to where it'll hang, you know, sit pretty nice and snug, kind of like that. 
and then uh, we're going to go ahead and get the stamp set over here, stamp it, and uh, let her cool off the rest of the way, and then we'll see how she's fitting. If it fits on well, we won't do anything. If it needs to close a bit more or open or, you know, just a little tweaking adjustment bits, uh, then we're going to go ahead and do that, and then uh, we'll clean her up. All right, here we go, about to stamp the 10 in here. Start with the one. Okay. that look? Went on fairly well. Now let me grab the zero here. Got a 10 stamp back in it. See if we can see it on the camera there. Yep, there's our 10. Uh, next thing we're going to do is let her cool off and then we'll see how she fits over the wrist. Uh, if she needs tweaking, uh, we probably could do it cold maybe. It's pretty close at this point. So I'm going to go ahead and let this cool off. All right. Uh, Cold it off. It was a little bit warm to the touch still, so I put it in a little bit of water. Just dunked it real quick, so it's handleable. Uh, gonna see how she fits on the wrist here. I'm gonna go ahead, wrap her up around. All right. Uh, this side here is a little tight, so I just gotta open that up a bit. But again, I'm pretty sure I could just do that cold, thin enough. So. Go here, just like this, just tap this high spot here. Right like that, that seems like that might work pretty well. It still digs in just a tad. Go ahead, come right here. Right like that. It's nice. Comes off pretty well. But just used to open that side up here a little tad tiny bit more. Alright. Perfect. There we go. She fits well. So, next thing we're going to do here is uh, go ahead, uh, get a wire wheel, clean this all up, uh, see if she still fits over a nut, see if we can tighten it or turn it, hopefully it will, I don't know, I did have one miss hit and kind of messed up the teeth a little bit in one spot, but hopefully that won't matter too much, and then uh, we'll see if she opens up a bottle, and go from there. Alrighty guys, so now we got it to fit. Now we got this uh, nut here in this uh, pl uh, piping thing. It's just a end plug. Uh, it's uh, 10 mil. So as you see, the jaws fit on it. Let me see if I can get it. Yeah, the jaws will fit on it. It's nice and tight. So let's see here, tighten it. Yeah, she'll tighten. Even this side will open it and do the nut so it's still functional on that side but that side's pretty easy to get it to function it's just jaws so let's tighten it back up and then see if we can get the toothy side here to fit on it break it loose a little bit here tighten it a little too much now the wrench is a little bit softer than it was before, so it'll be easier to round the teeth out. But you just slide it back over that, and you can get her to pop open. It's a little awkward trying to film this wrench here. Let me see if I can put her back in. 
It's weird. I'll admit, she's not the best tool to use in the world. Like I said, it's mostly a novelty, but it can get you by in a pinch. And you see here, where are we at here? Camera. And you see, there's the 10 that we stamped in for the 10 millimeter. Uh, I'll get a bottle real quick from inside, bring it out, see when we pop her open, and then uh, we're going to go ahead, clean her up on a wire wheel, oil this down. Yeah, we're just going to rub some mineral oil on it, and she'll be done after that. Alrighty, guys, so I got a bottle here, going to see if we can get the bottle opener to work. Ten millimeters is a little small to try to do this with, but she works. So the bottle opener works as a wrench too. So that's always fun. You know, it still fits the ten millimeter. That's because uh, instead of forging that down, we just took the chisel and cut it off, so it's still got the right size slot. And then we tried to be extra careful on this other side here, to, so that way the teeth could still fit. Now this is not the best. Wrench head, like I said, this is just a cheap garbage one. It's got the 12 teeth, so either way, it's going to round over your bolt pretty hard, even with the regular wrench before we even did anything with it. It's got the 12 teeth in it. It's kind of garbage, but there we go. So all the features on her will work pretty well. Uh, so now we're just going to go ahead, uh, take a wire wheel, clean her up. Alrighty guys, I'm just going to take a wee baby wire wheel here and a cordless drill to clean this up and get inside. I'll be careful, make sure you wear eye protection and ear protection all that fun stuff. Alright, let's get started. Alrighty guys, uh, she's all finished up, took it on, went ahead wire wheeled it, and then uh, wrapped her in some, uh, er, not wrapped, uh, wiped it down with some mineral oil, give it a nice dark and forged finish a little bit with a little bit of shine to it. So there's our restamped 10 for the 10 millimeter, our regular wrench side, our wrench and bottle opener side. Here, so uh, all right, guys, thanks for checking this out. Remember, like, share, comment, and subscribe.